at five tonight on your news leader. Memphis police investigating three separate officer involved crashes. They all happened in less than a week. In all, at least 10 people were involved. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Stephanie Skurlock. And I'm Greg Hurst. It is a tragic chain of events that's contributing to an already strained MPD fleet. Our Shay Simon is live at the North Main Precinct downtown. And Shay, what else do you know? Yes, Stephanie, Greg, uh, we just got new information that the surviving officer from Friday's crash has been identified as Bobby Fields by Memphis City Councilman Fort Canale. Fort Canale also says that this officer is still in very serious condition. <laughs> Five days, three crashes, all involving Memphis police officers. Friday, a mangled MPD cruiser on Danny Thomas and Mississippi Boulevard. The aftermath of a deadly crash that took the life of 34-year-old MPD officer Demetrius Johnson and 22-year-old Rentavius Johnson. Preliminary investigation revealed the driver of the gray Nissan was also suffering from a gunshot wound. Officers and family honored Officer Johnson over the weekend as WREG connected interim police chief CJ Davis with his extended family. Well, he got three sisters here and a brother and some nieces and nephews. There's a crowd of uh, his fellow friends and colleagues and of course the family is here with the children trying to hold her up and support her. Just know that when you get here, you know, we're here for you. Less than 48 hours after Friday's crash, six people, including an officer and two kids, injured in a crash on Lamar and Tuggle in southeast Memphis. Fast forward to Tuesday morning, commuters sat in traffic on Danny Thomas and Alabama Avenue around 8 a.m. as investigators worked a crash involving an MPD officer. As all of these crashes are under investigation, MPD continues to face a car shortage. In July, Sergeant Matt Cunningham confirmed 50% of their fleet is not in rotation with about 170 awaiting maintenance. We sometimes get in high speed in situations. Sometimes we, we drive the cars hard to respond to a call um, or a pursuit. Now, for some perspective here, Stephanie Greg, we reached out to MPD to ask just how many officer involved crashes have occurred this year. They say 251 crashes so far this year. For your news leader, downtown Memphis, Shay Simon, WREG News Channel 3. Taking his toll on man and machine. All right, Shay, thanks.